Hey everybody, welcome back to another Pokemon Battle Spotlight. I went and I looked through the list of legal Pokemon. I found Roserade. I've seen it used a couple times to pretty interesting effect. It's kind of flimsy. Um, it's pretty interesting and that's got crazy special attack. And it can be pretty fast. Um, it's got a pretty good, decent, you know, BST speed stat. Now with a Choice Scarf, it becomes monstrously fast. And it really can nuke a lot of the... Um, threats in this metagame I'm gonna show you guys uh, really the strength of a fast leaf storm you don't got a great amount of grass types in this metagame right now you have Venusaur you have Ferrothorn you know some people use you know chestnut there are a couple but um, it doesn't hurt to just try something out now what I think this this is you know I don't think Rosalia I mean, Roserade is the greatest you know pick for consistency but it is pretty fun so let me give you guys a little quick sneak peek I'm on the far side uh, with the Roserade. Agislash, Rotom Wash. Guys, Rotom Wash, like the second most used Pokemon in the game right now. Sir Petal Sticks can easily one-shot that thing with um, a Leaf Storm. It's got, you know, it's just so crazy strong stab, you know, and it's grass. So, you know, I fired it off and I faked out the Agislash without Megging so I could actually get the fake out. I anticipated he probably was going to switch because he didn't want to eat that Leaf Storm to the face. It still does, look, it's not very effective, still does 17.6% to Venusaur. So just just think about how strong that is. Because you're going to see it later. Uh, you're going to see it do something pretty amazing in, I think, the next battle. I doubled into it because I figured he might switch. Might as well get the Sucker Punch up here. Guys, I'm pretty sure another Leaf Storm would just KO Venusaur, even though, you know, I'm a half special attack. So I go for it just to, like, you know, try to break the... Agi slash sub because he has to attack or else he's going to do nothing this turn. No big deal. He does get the crit, so I switch out into Tibbers. I'm going to go for it again because, like I said, I'm not really afraid. Like, it's just it's just a Roserade, you know, whatever. Um, with the Sand coming in, I know I'll get the KO at least at the end of the turn, but he does get a double protect off. That works in his favor. Agi slash does not want to take a dark move. <laughs> I'm just going to... I just stay in here until this Venusaur dies to leave Storm, really. Um, and now I'm at a third special attack. Probably not going to leave that in. It is Scarfed, like I said. Um, and you're going to see how much damage this Leaf Storm really can do and how how clutch Roserade can be. Dark Pulse fires off into their er, his Tyranitar. Doesn't do a whole ton. I switch out because I am so weak from all of those Leaf Storms. And he Dragon Dances. I get the Dark Pulse since I'm Life Orb. I do get the KO. A really strong Life Orb Tyranitar. So strong. And, and But now he's at one point. You know, he's at, he's at plus one, plus one. Looking a little scared. It's, these are his last two, so I know Roserade can super affect both of these things. He takes out Gardevoir, no problem. And um, Tyranitar is going to do a pretty decent chunk of damage with that Rock Slide uh, to, to his Tyranitar, which is pretty cool, even though he's a Tyranitar. Now, Sir Petal Sticks comes out, and guys, even though he's plus one, plus one, I don't care. I'm fast. I'm going to one shot that Tyranitar through sand because Sir Petal Sticks is the best. And then I'm going to come over here, and I, I can still one-shot this Rotom from this range at half special attack. So I calced it. At least, uh, you know, a pretty standard Rotom build. So I'm going to go try to finish it off with that. I knew he probably would protect to get the power-up punch on my own teammate just because you got you to gotta make the plays. And uh, that'll end that battle, guys. So, yeah, that guy was actually a 1585, which means he's in the top 20 on Showdown. So that was a pretty good battle with Roserade. It's really something that can just kind of catch your opponent off guard. Here's another battle. I'm on the bottom. There's Sir Petal Sticks right there. Look at how majestic that thing is, though. Just come on. Like, it just looks awesome. Add just slash guard chomp, guys. Now, hold up. He'll switch to Florges because he doesn't want to get overheated. Now, HP Ice, Leaf Storm. I run Sludge Bomb and Sleep Powder on a Scarf set. Now, it clearly has enough firepower to one-shot guard chomp. Like, 100%, 100%, 100%. It's really strong. So when this happens, I was like, I was blowing up in the chat. I was like, how the hell did that happen? Turns out that's ass best Garchomp. So strong, right? So strong. Uh, I'll go and I'll he'll, he'll get the attack off because he's ass vest. I can't even believe that. Get the overheat on the floor. Just not a whole ton of damage. No big deal, though. I know he can't protect. I'm just going to go for it anyway in case he was playing mind games. Get the KO. Not really afraid of floor just anyway. Because I am poison. See, poison typing is so good. And you don't have a lot of viable Pokemon that are poison in this, this metagame either. So it's just it's pretty cool to play around with. Get the Will-O-Wisp. Because I know Florges is a big tank. It's just going to eat up all of my special attacks. So might as well get some damage onto it. Residual. 
I also really like Willow Wisping Agislash since a lot of them substitute and have leftovers, so I can not only negate the leftovers, but you know, minus their health at the same time. Just in time for that Sacred Sword so I can save my um, Tyranitar's life. Because Tibbers does not like fighting moves whatsoever. Sir Petal Sticks comes back out. Eats up that Shadow Sneak. I mean, anything kind of would from a Burn Edge Slash. But anyway, I'm trying to highlight it. So, eats up that Shadow Sneak. Rock Slide Faint Florges. And now we're looking at a, a 2 on 4 with Sir Petal Sticks on the field, guys. Now, right here, he's going to Mega, right? Okay, big deal. I'm not offensive. Guys. The crit, 96.4% of the time, doesn't matter. Boom! One shot's Mega Manectric 96% of the time. And that's going to be enough. And it outspeeds because I'm so fast, I think. I'm pretty sure it outspeeds. Yeah, I out. I think I outspeed. Hold on. You guys want me to check? Uh, yeah, I'll check. One sec. Let's see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oops. I gotta outspeed. Roserade's got crazy speed. Let's see, Mega Manectric. Oh, yeah. Oh, by so much. So at level 50, I know you guys can't see anything. Just listen to my voice. At level 50, max speed, timid Mega Manectric hits 205. We hit a timid. I'm modest. We hit 142. That's definitely enough. That's way, way, way enough to outspeed timid Manectric. Guys, this. This thing hits, what is that, like 2, 212, 213 speed? That's nuts. And we got one last battle for you. Uh, and this is the other, you know, usage. This is really the other versatility of Roserade because you've seen a lot of Leaf Storm, and that's basically what you're going to use it for. Sometimes HPIs for the Dragons because you are outspeeding. Um, but just, just check this out. Like, what do you do against, like, Grass is such a strong type. Oh, my God, look, Grass Super Effects, three of this guys, you know, three of these guys, hmm. Pokemon like Rotom Wash, Azumarill, and Aerodactyl. Um, not the greatest defenses. You can see it took quite a bit from that uh, Rock Slide. Take out Aerodactyl though, no problem. Take out Amoongus with a return. Sometimes when you think something's really obvious, it's like really a good play because your opponent's not going to expect it. At one third special attack, unfortunately cannot kill Rotom Wash. I'm not that amazing. It is still just Roserade. I do some damage because now I can guarantee a KO at half special attack. And uh, the Dragon Claw will come into Cookies. He's going to burn me. I was not expecting the X. X Charizard is pretty scary. Tippers comes out. Also not expecting to take 57% from that. That's pretty scary. Um, and I was kind of relying on Tibbers here for a little bit to kill this Charizard. And then after I took over half, I was like, oh my god. Oh god, no. So guys, come out with a fast sleep powder. Like, for real. And I know my Tyranitar is faster than Rotom Wash. So I really just had to slow down this Charizard. Even if it went up, you know, plus one or whatever. It's just like you put stuff to sleep, so it's good. It's good. So if you guys have a need for a um, grass type Pokemon, Roserade's not the best bet, but it's certainly a fun bet. Actually, you know it could be a best bet. You won't you won't outspeed a. If this is timid, let's say this is like adamant or something. No, you won't outspeed the Charizard. But anyway. Yeah, Sir Petal Sticks is fast. It may if you're timid. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know its base. Oh, if you're timid, you outspeed Adamant Charizard or Modest Charizard. Woo! But you're still slower if they're timid. Whatever. If they're speed boosting, you don't get it. But either way, guys, Sir Petal Sticks fast. One shots a lot of stuff. Let's see what that damage calc is on Rotom Wash real quick. Rotom Wash is special. Okay. Mm -da -da -da. Oops. What is this? Level 100. No, 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 no. We want Leaf Storm. And you really want Leaf Storm because you want that extra damage. Look at, okay, so Leaf Storm against max HP, max special defense Rotom Wash, Calm. Who runs that? Has a 75% chance to KO Rotom Wash one shot. So you definitely have enough power. Let's say you're at minus two and they aren't 252. Let's say they're like 136. Yeah, see, you're still doing... Wait, why do they have leftovers? No. And they're calm. If you're at minus two, they're calm. They have a pretty decent... 136 is probably still pretty high. You're still doing this amount of damage. Like, that's nuts. That's a lot of damage, especially coming from something really fast like Roserade. 
So that's just something to think about, guys. I liked it. It was actually really fun to play with, so I would play with it again. I don't know if I'd bring it to a tournament, like I said, unless it's really working for your team. Um, but you got that fast sleep powder. You got that fast leaf storm. You got that fast HP ice. You, you kill anything that you're super effect kind of. Like, your, your special attack's so high. It really, like, so it hits, what, 177? Not modest. Modest hits almost 200, right, 194. Anyway, thought it was fun. Guys, tell me if you liked it. If you guys want to see any other Pokemon, I know you got some requests. I'm working on those. And um, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.